Part 2 of the Nzinga Pass covers the section from the 6th to the 12th kilometer. If you intend driving this pass, it's important to watch Part 1 first, which includes the Google Earth orientation animations, as well as other important information pertaining to safety, tourism and history. At the 6 kilometer point, there's a wide junction where the Nzinga Road joins the Lotani Road. It's also at this point that the direction of travel changes into the west. In the Ukushlamba Drakensberg Park, many of the rock art sites contain scenes depicting hunting, dancing, fighting, food gathering or ritual and trance scenes of hunting or rainmaking. The ecological integrity of the area has been preserved intact since the last sand people living there and the climate, vegetation and fauna have not changed. Uniquely, it's possible to turn from rock paintings of Irland, Rebok and other animals to look over the pristine valleys and to see these very species feeding, resting or moving about. Towering sandstone cliffs, gigantic peaks, hidden valleys and crystal clear rivers welcome you to this World Heritage Site, the Ukoschlamba at Rakensberg Park. This premier ecotourism destination is easily reached from Durban, KwaZulu-Natal or Johannesburg in Gauteng. The vast Drakensberg in KwaZulu-Natal can be divided into four sections. Bergville and the northern Drakensberg, Winterton and the central Drakensberg, Heimvoll, Underberg and the southern Drakensberg, and East Griqualand and Umzumkulu. The park offers a wide range of accommodation from luxury lodges at Giants Castle and Royal Natal National Park or fully equipped cottages and chalets to rustic mountain nuts and overnight caves. This Drakensberg Nature Reserve in KZN is incredibly scenic and perfect for photography. From the highest peaks and majestic amphitheatre to high altitude grasslands, the Tugela Falls and picturesque foothills, each aspect changes with the seasons and time of day. Tranquil Luka Schlumber Drakensberg Park provides the perfect environment for scenic walks, hiking, biking, bird watching, swimming, riding and painting. The park has an average altitude of 3,000 meters and it's the highest range south of Kilimanjaro and spans 150 kilometers over 243,000 hectares of land. At the 8.5 kilometer mark, two large farm dams are visible on the left. A 160 degree U-bend occurs at the 9.4 kilometer point and the gradients also ease off considerably to around 1 in 20 as the pass reaches its true summit after a series of S-curves at the 11.7 km point at an altitude of 1,849 meters. <laughs> <laughs>